Hi everybody, this is uh, the fourth episode of Alpha Nerds. This is my grandma. Say hi to the camera. Hi. <laughs> um, so to explain a little bit about what this show is, it's Alpha Nerds, and uh, in this episode I'm the Alpha Nerd because I'm really into Lost. Lost is what this episode is about. And uh, I watched most of Lost. Uh, I think I went through the series on uh, IMDb, had like the first five seasons, and then Hulu or something had the last episode. So basically what I did was I caught up on all of the uh, sixth season on uh, YouTube. Like they, they had these little recaps of each episode, and then I watched the full last episode. So this is my first time going through the whole series, um, but first what I'm most interested in is to find out what my grandma thinks. Um, and so what we normally do is since me and Matt are the ones who run this show, we have graphicallychristian.com, we produce uh, digital content from a Christian perspective. Um, I ask him if he respects it as an artist. So what I'm going to ask you is whether you respect what the writers did with it. Uh, do you think that they were trying to be too smart alecky about it, but like they were being really mysterious and there was really nothing behind it? I enjoyed it. I respect the writing and all that was done there. Mm -hmm. Because it kept your interest, for one thing, because you were you wanted to know what was going on. Right. And you got some idea of what was going on from the episodes. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's one good thing about it is that uh, even though it's not uh, an action show, per se, yeah. uh, there was action in it, but that's one thing I appreciate about it was that it could have an episode that was, you know, sort of small and I think there are um, some pretentious things like the uh, the whole idea, there's this one episode where uh, you find out, uh, spoiler alert, that <laughs> um, Jacob has uh, brought them all to the island and it's all because, um, you know, he did this thing to his brother, he turned him into this thing. And um, for people who haven't watched the show, it doesn't make any sense. But uh, his, you find out that his mother is um, sort of like came to the island and had him, and then this other woman is taking care of him. And uh, she talks all this stuff about how men are, they just destroy things. And we were talking about how that sort of reminded yeah, us yeah. of like Gaia and some other Eastern things where. Yeah. You know, it's it's all like Mother Earth and, and that sort of thing. But then it also has a lot of like Christian things. Uh, like Jacob is sort of like a traditionally Christian name. And him fighting the man in black is it's a very like good versus evil, white and black sort of thing. We were brought here for a purpose, for a reason, all of us. Each one of us was brought here for a reason. Brought here. And who brought us here, John? But I think there's little things you can nitpick here and there, but uh, overall it's a very enjoyable show to watch. What were all the things that you liked about the show, or didn't like? Well, like I said, I think the writer did a very good job, because mm -hmm. even though at first you didn't know, you didn't have any idea what was going on, he held your interest. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing I didn't like was when they went back and forth so much, I got a little confused. Right. But I did enjoy the episodes. I enjoyed the actors. I think they did a very good job. And the people you were supposed to hate, you hated. Right. And the people you were supposed to like, I think you liked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say the actors did a great job. Um, I think anybody who watches this series, and we, you know, as we were watching it, sort of thinking, like, why are these people not in more things? You know, why don't I see them in movies and stuff? And I think that's probably just a first level choice that some of them may not want to still be in acting. But they really, they do a really good job. Um, uh, Hurley, Locke, and, and that's another thing is that there are a lot of characters that go back and forth between being good and being, being evil. evil. And yeah. sometimes that's tricky to do without people, you know, getting angry at the show writers or whatever. But you really go along with them. You're like, oh, okay, no, don't do that. You know, well, I, think I, Saeed, I want them to be redeemable. I think Saeed did that. And I liked Saeed's character. Saeed's right. character. 
Yeah, so did I. Yeah, and I enjoyed Hurley, of course, was one. <laughs> and I enjoyed Miles, too. Yeah, Miles. I think he was kind of funny. Yeah. I think he came in since Hurley had a more serious arc towards the end. Yeah. I think, yeah, Miles, Miles came in as like the comic relief, comic relief guy. at the yeah. end. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed him. So if little Ben dies, he'll never grow up to be Big Ben, who's the one who made us come back here in the first place. Which means we can't be here, and therefore, dude, we don't exist. You're an idiot. So yeah, the actor's really good, the writing's really good. We both sort of enjoyed that. Um, and then the ending, uh, you know, it sort of jumps a little bit into the future, and then they're all sort of going from purgatory to heaven, yeah. and... Uh, I what I was trying to explain to her and, and what you know uh, I, what I don't really understand about people not liking it is that up until that point there is a bunch of really weird yeah. stuff going on yeah and there if you understand religion at all there are, is a lot of symbolism so that didn't really bother me did it no. did it bother you at all that it you know no I saw a lot of symbolism too in it like like with luck. To me, he was a devil, right. you know, but, and then I was trying to figure out who the others reminded me of, but it, you couldn't really put your finger on who they right. were supposed to. And I think that that was uh, a, a key part of it, uh, was that, you know, it's, it isn't just uh, one religion that it's trying to, no. to go with. Guys, where are we? But I think I do respect that it it takes you along with these characters and, you know, you like them and you want them to do good and you want them to be good at the end and that they're all sort of rewarded for that in the end. Yeah. So that's us for Lost. Uh, we both really enjoyed it and uh, I'd like to thank you for being on this episode for watch, going on this journey, journey together and uh, we'll see you. Thanks a lot.